What's up guys, Nintendo here once again. How about another pickup video? Yep, it's about that time and I got uh, over 20 things to show you guys from 10 different sources. I think, yeah, I think it's 10 different places and or people. Uh, so let's just get straight into it. Before I make this video, 20 minutes like I usually do. In fact, this is take number two where the first one lasted 22 minutes, the camera cut out part way, and I tripped over my words a lot. So we're gonna try to do this one a lot quicker and a lot more streamlined. When I was in Medford doing the trade night last time, I did use some of my trade credit for one game, Dig Dug 2, and I picked this up strictly for two reasons. A, I like Dig Dug, and B, every time I see Dig Dug 2, the freaking label's screwed up. So this was nice to find in very good condition. Um, I'm gonna say it was like eight or nine bucks. Kind of a bit much, but it was trade credit that I had just sitting there. Okay, then I did a trade with my buddy Richard. Uh, we've done trade through the mail a few different times. Um, he's kicked me down Atari games. I've kicked him down games. Uh, last time he kicked me down toys. I got my Hot Wheels toys from him, if you remember those. Anyways, uh, he did actually kick me down some toys, but uh, there was a few of them, and I'm hoping to do a future pickup episode for toys, and uh, we'll see about that. But if I do, I'll show them in that. But there was one game, and that was Elevator Action for Nintendo, which I've been after for quite some time. This is a rad game. You need to play this game. It's so fun. It's like, it's awesome. Same way like Burger Time's awesome. Just really rad arcade game. So thank you very much for that, Richard. Woohoo! Okay. I haven't been doing a whole lot of shopping in this area, but I decided I finally need to start hitting up some thrift stores and pawn shops. So far, thrift stores kind of suck, but I did find a pawn shop near me that's actually decent on prices and had a few interesting things. And actually, this is from two different times going there, so they had enough good things that I went back. Uh, first of all, I got Persona, blah, 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 Persona 4 Arena disc only for, I think it was a dollar, and it's in perfect shape. Just disc only, but still pretty badass. Jade Empire Complete, and this is the limited edition. Um, it is complete in box. Uh, it does have a broken case, but I got this for five bucks. Really good deal. I think it was five bucks. Um, I did not know, but apparently this was supposed to be like one of the Knights of the Old Republic games, and they lost the licensing or something like that. So this is like pretty much like a Knights of the Old Republic game. As soon as I found that out, knew I had to get it. I've passed on that one a couple times, too. Okay, so... And then there was a Game Boy game that I had never seen before. It's just a cheapo, but it's really fun, and that is Maru's Mission. And this came across as a very Legend of Kage game. In fact, me and my girlfriend both played this, and we had a lot of fun with it. It's uh, It's got crazy jumping mechanics, just like Legend of Kage, where you can jump like all the way to the top of the screen while you're simultaneously throwing shurikens everywhere. So that was actually a pretty cool pickup. Never even heard of it before. And the last one from the pawn shop was definitely the best. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, never mind. This is the last game. Harvest Moon, More Friends Mineral Town. <sighs> I have the hiccups. That's freaking awesome. I always have this during videos. This was marked at 12 bucks, as you can maybe see. There was two of these. They both had perfect labels, and I bought a bunch of stuff in a bundle, so he actually took down a few bucks on each thing, and so this was more like 8 or 10 bucks. Really good deal, considering they go for 20 bucks online. And there's still another one sitting down there. It's been sitting down there for a while. So, okay, and then I got two more things that were not games, but they're definitely game-related. Both controllers. We've got Patrick from Spongebob, a PS2 controller that I got for $3. Um, I actually have not tested this out yet, but everything seems okay. One button sticky, but I'm sure I can open it up and clean that up a bit. Really cool controller. I have seen the Spongebob one one time, passed on it like an idiot. Also the plug-and-play, passed on that like an idiot. But at least I got Patrick. He's pretty cool. Okay, and then the last one I got, uh, there were actually two of these, and I ended up actually going back for the second one. This is the Nintendo uh, Fights Fighter Stick SN, and it is for Super Nintendo. It's an arcade stick, it's got turbo options, and it's pretty badass. Well, they had two of them there for five bucks each, and I was kind of broke the first time, so I just picked one up. Well, when I posted this in Southern Oregon Retro Gamers, showed them what pickups I got, my buddy Mosley, you guys may him know him from uh, Drunken Master Studios, he was like, holy crap, I need another one of those, those are badass as shit. And just so happened to be that that was his secret Santa, so I ended up going back when I got paid, 
shelling out the five bucks, getting the other arcade stick and sending that to him, and he was really stoked on it, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you, Random Pawn Shop in random location in Oregon. Okay, and then let's see. Uh, my buddy Eric, who lives in Salem, not too far from here, got a ridiculously cool Game Boy Advance, and I think it was DS lot. And uh, there was one game I really, really wanted from it. So on his way back from Southern Oregon to Salem, he did a little trade with me. He got a few things for me, and I got Advance Wars on Game Boy Advance. Card only, a uh, little chewed up, tiny bit chewed up, label's a little faded, but who gives a shit? Tactical RPG action, super colorful and badass. Uh, I now have three out of the four. I have uh, both Game Boy Advance ones, and I have one DS Advance Wars. Um, pretty cool. I really want the other DS one. And also, he was telling me about Battalion Wars, which I need to check out as well. So thank you very much for that, Eric. That is rad, and congrats on a really good Game Boy Advance lot. He got some really good games in the slot, and I think it was like 40 bucks. Really cool. Okay, and then... Okay, I have a buddy named Jacob Chaplin, who is on YouTube. Check out his channel. It's just his name, Jacob Chaplin, and uh, he does pickups and all kinds of videos. Really good personality. Definitely loves games, and uh, he had some games for trade. One of them was Valis 3, and this is one that I was after. Literally any game that has, like, a sword and platforming elements, I'm, like, all about. Like, stick a sword on Mario and I'd be totally all about it. Like, Valis 3 fucking kicks ass. Just like Valis 4, or like Excalibur, or like Run Saber, Strider. Just so many games. I keep talking about Psycho Dream, same type of thing. Just, I love side scrollers and swords, they kick ass. So, thank you very much for that, Jacob. Go check out his channel. I will leave that in the description below. Okay, so then I did a trade with another YouTuber, actually. Nintendo13, I'm sure you guys have seen him before if you've seen my channel. Uh, really cool guy, always has a ton of shit. Well, for a while he was working for somebody that had a crap ton of Genesis games and they were paying him in Genesis games. And some of these Genesis games were like mint condition. And I was watching these pickups like in Rapture, just like, oh my god, this is so cool. And yet, uh, I don't think he's much of a Genesis collector, or maybe he already has a ton of Genesis games and I uh, didn't need a bunch of them, but a bunch of them were up for trade, and so I decided to get two. Uh, but he did throw this one in uh, for Wii, A Boy and His Blob. I've been after this forever. Uh, I was just a bastard and asked if he would happen to <laughs> throw it in, because he didn't seem to care about it much and it didn't have... A manual, and he graciously accepted, and I threw a free present his way. Uh, so check out his channel, and uh, hopefully he will. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, him talk about what he got from me, but uh, he might have already done it, and I just haven't seen it yet, or it's coming soon. But check out Nintendo 13. Also, leave the uh, link in the description below. I'm having a hard time talking. Probably the beer. But yeah, boy in his blob on Wii. Been after that for a long time. No manual, but whatever. Really stoked on that. And then I got two of the Genesis games, and both of them were one of the ones that looked like they had, like, been opened and, like, never played. <laughs> it's really weird, but... Except for they don't have the tabs. Like, somebody ripped them off on purpose. But, uh, Jewel Master. Not a puzzle game. Not a puzzle game at all. Seems like a puzzle game. It's not. I think most people are thinking of, like, um... Oh, man, I can't remember what it's called. There's a game that has a similar cover to this. That's a puzzle game. I can't remember what it's called. This is not a puzzle game. This is an action platformer, kind of reminiscent of Castlevania, except for you get rings, and you get to put, like, certain rings on each hand and on each finger, and combined with other rings, they make elemental powers, so you can do, like, fire spells and wave spells and all kinds of crazy shit just by combining your rings in a really cool combination. Really cool game, underrated, nobody talks about it. Really badass that I got this because I was just watching a video on it, like, right before he had it up for trade so i was like oh i need that but even more than that i needed viewpoint holy crap i've been after this forever i have a playstation disc only of this game and of course this being genesis as opposed to playstation it's very stripped down but it is still fun as hell uh it's like brand new i love the cover art it's so weird and obscure and it's an isometric shoot em up and it's really freaking cool and there's all kinds of stuff coming at you and the music's wacky as shit like fucking 80s music mixed with CNC Factory mixed with like video game shoot 'em up music. I don't know. It's really weird, but uh, viewpoint definitely cool. Might have to review the blah blah. Might have to review this at some point. Maybe even both of these. But uh, thank you very much for that, Rod at Nintendo 13. 
I did a single trade with my buddy Phobia up in Portland. And this guy had something I wanted so bad. You wave a Turbo Graphics game in my face that I don't have, and holy crap, I will go nuts. I will figure out some way to get it off you. And sure enough, I did with Dungeons & Dragons, Order of the Griffin, RPG style game, overhead, kind of reminiscent of like, um, uh, well, it's kind of reminiscent of like Ultima, but the battles are a little more strategic, but then again, some of the old Ultimas kind of were too, uh, but everything's got that like tilted look, like everybody was kind of drunk and just a little bit like off, like leaning tower of drunk people everywhere, but, uh, and buildings, but yeah, super uncommon game, like I've never seen this before, never heard of it before. Uh, was very stoked to get it, so thank you very much for that, Fulvia. Did two different trades with my buddy Jesse, who is in Southern Oregon. We traded through the mail. And, uh, I'll show you the second trade first, actually, because it was just one disc only. Final Fight CD. If you want to play Final Fight the real way, the closest way to Arcade Perfect you can, this is the way you have to do it. Super Nintendo screwed up pretty much twice by putting out regular Final Fight, not including Guy, not including a two-player option. And then they, like, made up for it by making Final Fight Guy, which was like a blockbuster exclusive, which is super fucking rare. Gives you Guy to play with, but now you don't have Cody to play with, and I believe it's still not two-player. Damn it, just go get this. This is what you need, and it's worth the price. Hell yeah, Final Fight CD. Thank you very much for that, Jesse. And the other two I got from him... Uh, definitely on the rarer side of PlayStation games, which is why I went for them, even though they were disc only. Uh, I just, I just want to play these games. I don't really care about value. I just really wanted to play these, and so with trading, I was able to work a deal with, with him and get Castlevania Chronicles. Woo! Hell yes! This sits neatly in between like one, two, and three, and like four, like not necessarily chronologically, but the gameplay style is like more reminiscent of one, two, and three. Then it is like four in Symphony of the Night. It's like in between three and four. Really freaking cool though. Really awesome. And then, super uncommon. I'd go so far as to say rare. I had the opportunity to buy this game one time for 80 bucks. Complete in box with walkthrough. Passed on it. Immediately should have probably kicked myself in the ass. Brigandine, the, leg the legend of F Forsena. I can never say that right. Forsena? Forsena. Don't know. Brigandine, tactical strategy RPG. I've really been into these lately, and this one's just so hard to get. But I've been wanting to play it forever, and uh, Jesse, for whatever reason, did not like this game. He wanted my opinion on it, so I will play that one very soon. I just kind of tested it. But thank you very much for that, Jesse. Three amazing disc onlys. Uh, pretty awesome. If I would have had to pay full price for all three of those games, Jesus Christ, it would have been very hurtful to my wallet. My girlfriend probably would have killed me. Okay, so... Then, I got a crazy gift from my buddy Sean. Um, he makes repros for me and stuff. Uh, you guys may know him from YouTube. Anyways, Sean hooked me up with just a few things that he had sitting around, and he said he thought I might like, and I was, uh, like, pretty stoked to just get a random box for free. It's really awesome of him, and I'm trying to find a way to make it up to him. I actually talked to him earlier today before I filmed this, and was asking for his Nintendo want list, but he's so close to a full set, everything he wants is, like, super rare, and I had, like, one of the games. It was one of my prized possessions, so I couldn't get rid of it. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make it up to him. Uh, I'll figure something out, but, um, we're actually working on a trade right now. But, he kicked down Gradius on Famicom, which is badass, but, oddly enough, one of the few Famicom games I have is Gradius. The exact same cart, and I have it on Nintendo. So, what's cool is this going to be re-gifted. This is going to go some, to somebody in a uh, contest or, I don't know, random secret Santa or something like that. I'm thinking a contest. I am going to do a really badass contest if I ever hit a thousand subscribers. Okay, this one I'm keeping for sure, though. Another Famicom game. <laughs> Twinbee, yes. Overhead queued him up. So badass. I was just talking about popping Twinbee on uh, Super Famicom, uh, but I got this way before. I did that video, but this is just amazing. It's so fun. You can bomb on the ground, you can bomb in the air, and super cute graphics, and hard as hell. Difficult as shit. So badass, though. I can't believe. Now I have this on Famicom, and I have, uh, what was the other shoot 'em up I have? Uh, Fantasy Zone on Famicom. Really badass. And the last thing, he made this for me, and um, 
Holy crap, man. I can't even thank you enough for this, Sean. This is seriously one of the coolest gifts I've ever had. Uh, he printed this cover up himself. Super nice Genesis cover. It says Dangerous Seed, an unreleased overhead shmup. Uh, that, well, not unreleased, but unreleased for us in the United States. I don't know if this was Japan only or if maybe it came out in Europe, but he also did it on the see-through Sexy as Hell Red Shell, which is just amazing. This game looks amazing, and it is so, so fun. This is a great game. This is a really good game. It's an Amco game, so yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Thank you so much, Sean. This is just, this blew me away. I was really surprised and, like, very stoked, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make it up for you somehow. Somehow. I don't know how, but somehow I will make it up to you. Okay. One more game. It's gotta be a good one. What could beat a gift like that? I mean, seriously, that's like the ultimate gift. This and two Famicom games? That's freaking amazing. There's only one thing that could beat something like that. Maybe a game that I've been after for like, oh, 15 years or something like that? I think that's a game that maybe deserves to be last on this video. And it was with somebody I've never traded with before. Uh, he was randomly on Southern Oregon Retro Gamers, and he'd only done like one trade before, but he did have one positive feedback, decided to take the chance, and the guy was super legit. Really nice guy, his name was Mike, and I traded him a copy of Ninja Gaiden 3 with manual, both in very good shape, for Lunar Eternal Blue Complete on PlayStation 1. Big ass box. This is missing one thing. Uh, the pendant. The thing I care the, the least about, honestly. The pendant. But uh, the box is a little beat up. No big deal. I mean, for a game this old, I can't really say I expected it to be perfect. But I'll go ahead and take this apart for you and let you see what this is all about because I just love opening this freaking box. It's amazing. So first of all, it came with the Omake box, uh, which is really cool. It's just this like cardboard box and it fits together. And uh, inside you get all these little paper standees, which are like little figures. You just pop them up and they've got pictures on both sides. And uh, There's a bunch of those. The instructions for those, there is a really cool map, which is textured and just really neat feeling. And on the back is a little lunar, like, poster thing. Whatever you want to call that, freaking amazing. And the map fits all neatly inside here. And yes, there is supposed to be a pendant in this as well, but I don't have that. No big deal there. But yeah, there's the Omake box, and then there is the soundtrack. And what's also cool about the soundtrack box is that there's also... Let me put on a song here. There's also space for the Lunar 2 demo disc, which came with Vanguard Bandits. So if you did happen to have that, you could slip that in here, and it's kind of a placeholder for it. Pretty freaking neat. And then it came with an amazing art book. This is just the kind of thing that you'll never, ever see again included in a game with like the super shiny blue on top and I mean this is, when I first saw this, when I was like early 20s or late teens, I can't remember exactly when I first saw this, but when I first saw this in Lunar 1 in these big boxes, they blew me away and man I should have picked them up back then, they were way cheaper back then. Um, and then here's the actual game. All the discs are in perfect condition. I mean, they're just immaculate, and uh, yeah. So happy to get this. So that's it. There's another pickup video for you guys. Definitely the baddest ass game that I've had in a little while. This uh, this is up there with like Discworld that I got really recently. Seems like I've really been scoring some good PlayStation games lately, so thank you very much for that. Mike, if you happen to be watching, thank you very much, Shantendo, for putting your time and effort into this and a really cool package that you sent me. And uh, everybody else I mentioned, Jacob Chaplin, check out his channel. Check out Nintendo 13. Thank you, Phobia. Uh, thank you, Eric and Star and blah, 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 Jesse. You guys rule. Thank you very much for watching. Give a thumbs up. That helped me out a lot. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite pickup? What have you gotten recently? And go ahead and subscribe. You're already here. You may as well. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Keep rocking the retro games.